watching 18 News Today. And welcome back to 18 News Today. I'm here with Tom Pierre. And Tom, how are you doing this morning? Good, thank you. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, of course. And well, you're here for an important cause. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we're trying. We're going to raise money for our disabled American vets in Steuben County, and the money stays local. Last year, we got Ron Yorio and myself had set up a little bowling thing against each other, mm -hmm. and we raised 1,048. Oh, this wow. year, we decided to do it again, and we have 28 teams, so hoping for 30. And if you take the 30 teams times four, which is 120, mm -hmm. and then that times if they each brought in $50 worth of sponsorship, you will get over $6,000. Plus, our, uh, we're going to have raffles and we're having door prizes. And it's going to be a, an awful big event this coming Saturday. And Tom, being a vet yourself, what does it mean to be able to take part in such an important event and give back to those who have given back to their country? Well, you know, it's just an honor. You know, we, some gave all and all gave some, you mm -hmm. know, and I've been an advocate for our vets ever since I got out of the service in 72, and I've tried to give them discounts at the restaurant, you know, and, 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 and all the time that my only fam our family ourselves were overseas, we always sent stuff over for their troops, and we've had uh, one of my girls at the restaurant, her mother uh, collects all kinds of uh, food, and, you know, gee dunk, mm -hmm. what we call gee dunk, <laughs> you know, and, and, and supplies, wash supplies and everything. We've been doing this for quite a long time, sending this stuff overseas. And now we get a chance to raise some actual funds to help them with their, their food, their rent, their clothing, electric gas, you know, to help them out, the ones that can't afford it. Well, and talking about the actual upcoming event, uh, what is, is this the type of event, is it family friendly, bring your kids, come have fun, like, tell Absolutely. me a little bit about that. Absolutely, uh, we have uh, both men's teams, women teams, mm -hmm. mixed teams, uh, there'll be uh, some kids bowling, we have a lot of young kids that'll be bowling in this, and like I said, we'll have, hopefully we're going to have 30 teams, we have 28 right now, it's going to be very family uh, orientated. Well, now I'm going to ask you for the whole logistical aspect, when's it happening, what time, where, where do people sign up, how do you get involved in come part of this uh, bowling tournament? Well, we're having it at uh, Crystal Lanes and Courting. Uh, it's going to start February 1st. It's on February 1st. It's going to start at 1 o'clock, be there about noon. Hmm. You can sign up that day. You can stop in any time between now and Saturday <laughs> and sign up for the last two teams if we have openings or just come down and, and enjoy the event. And Tom, my very last question for you, and I know it's kind of reiterating on everything you've said this morning. If you had one message for the community about this upcoming event, what would it be? Let's all get out and, and, and help our fellow veterans that uh, need the help, or the support, the financial support. It's a great honor to do this, and it'll be you know, a great fundraiser. Well, Tom, again, I want to thank you so much for coming in this morning and especially setting up this event yeah. for such an important cause. But that's all the time we're going to have for right now, so we're going to be right back with more news and weather after the break.